Okay, so as you can see, I have the Zbeck here, and I've got my MacBook Pro. I've disconnected it from the normal setup that you guys are used to seeing me on, and I've got everything ready to go here. But to be honest, I actually haven't put anything together yet, so this is a first not only for you, but for me as well. So let's go ahead and take it apart, open the box back up, and see how easy this thing really is to put together and put on your computer. You know, this is the unit. And we're gonna be as careful as we can getting it and the three screens out. All right, grab that. Like I said, as you can see, I haven't opened up anything, but those are the mini HDMI. What I'm looking for is the USB-C. In USB-C. USB-C, USB-C-A, what I really want are these. The USB-C to USB-C cables with the right angle adapters on the end. You know, I'm, I really have to admit that I am a bit anal retentive when it comes to the packaging and whatnot uh, that comes with all of the gadgets that I work with. I had a father who was exceptionally anal retentive when it came to boxes and packaging for things that he purchased. The man never threw anything away. So when he passed, there was uncertain boxes upon empty boxes in the attic empty box upon empty box upon empty box you found the box but you didn't necessarily know where the gadget was <laughs> so we're going to go ahead here and we're going to open up the computer as you can see it's on and going to go ahead and do my best to and all the other people that did these things made it look so easy. Probably will be after a while. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. You gotta put it the. No, that was interesting. You gotta put it the right on the correct way, and it's gotta come out all the way. And I believe it's going to be one of these. We're going to try this now. It will likely, see it's a little back heavy. All right, I'm gonna put this on the front and hopefully that'll unplug the USB accessory using too much power. 
three enable the USB device. That's really interesting. All right. Perhaps it needs to be that one. And there we are. Bang. Open that. And Now, this may be partially due to the fact that I am, I may be in the wrong port here. This one's flipped upside down. There's no signal there. So let's try the other one. And it's type C. So now, let's see if we can grab the troubleshooting guide because they said that there was something that you could do. The try screen is upside down. So if you see here, all right, in the troubleshooting guide, one of the things is my screen is upside down. So let's go ahead and, and that's interesting that it's got that over there. And definitely, obviously, I need to bring that up. My displays. And then look at the arrangement. Right. That's very interesting. That one is there. That one is there. All right. Close those. Now, it's also very interesting. So I'm trying to do this somewhat upside down. One of these is. somewhat backwards, we'll bring this in the middle just so we can go ahead and work with it and we will go to the website www.zbeck.com slash pages slash Troubleshoot. I usually run on a wired connection on my desk, so I usually don't have. And there's the troubleshooting guide, which I've taken a look at once before. One of my screens is upside down. Mac, select displays from the menu, which I have already done. Move your cursor to the upside down screen. Click on the display menu. One eighty, and that huh. where are you 
world. There we go. That needs to be in the middle. Bugs over there. Bugs over there. And now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to stand with the rotation. Hoping that it doesn't rearrange the screens this time. And it keeps on doing that. And we want to confirm. Okay. So. And get rid of that should confirm that this one is this screen, the middle one is the middle screen, this one is that screen. And that's not too bad. It's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky, but not too bad. So as you can see, now I've got the screen protectors here that are still on. I will remove these once um, I feel a little bit more confident. And I'll go ahead and I'll use the, um, I could use the uh, kickstand here uh, to help uh, keep this from, from settling back. Um, but I will go ahead and um, work with the uh, cable organizers. Um, and get this to a spot where I can take these cables here, put them back behind the unit, secure them to, to the unit with the 3M tape that's on here, and then use the clip to lock in the cable like that, all right, um, so that all I've got to do is plug and chug the cables uh, out of the MacBook Pro when, when I'm out and about, and then go ahead and uh, very quickly, very easily um, uh, release these also from the back, and then release these also from the back, and then go ahead and just plug everything in, and we should all be good at that point. Um, now, Zbeck is saying that uh, once you are done with everything and you uh, are ready to go, that you should just push these back in place and then Sleep the machine. Now these will go ahead, they say, as I said before, it doesn't rotate. It would be nice if it rotated um, so that it could not necessarily be so difficult. But these are small little things and what I like to call foibles uh, that we will go ahead and learn about, or I will go ahead and learn about and relate back to you in a review um, as we, or as I go along. Um, but as you can see, this is the Zbeck Tri Screen for MacBook Pro, or in fact, any. Um, USB-C or Thunderbolt enabled PC. I'm Christopher Spera for iTechGear.org and I think for right now we're going to call this a wrap. Make sure you go ahead and look for the, the full review on iTechGear.org. Thanks.